A while back, I watched the Alien films for the first time ever, and I did a couple of videos talking about how I felt about those movies, and then that led me to go and re-watch the Predator films, because I was, I was a Predator boy growing up. And uh, I re-watched all three of those, and I did a video on that, and I was just like, you know what? I'm also going to re-watch the Predator, or, uh, Alien vs. Predator movies, because I had also seen those before. And... Uh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna rewatch those and do a video on that, and then I didn't do that because I just didn't feel inclined to watch those movies. Uh, but uh, recently, uh, a year and a half later, uh, I found myself sick and bedridden, and I, I I was gonna like watch some some anime, and I was just like, oh, I don't I don't want to have to think. I don't want to have to read subtitles. I just I just want to watch just disposable garbage right now. And so I grabbed the AVP films and uh, I popped those in. And I thought I was going to like jump into these movies and I'd be sitting here in front of this camera telling you guys how these movies aren't that bad. Like everyone shits on them needlessly. They're perfectly serviceable and everyone's just being a dickhead and they just had way too high of expectation. No, I was stupid. I was stupid. The plot twist here is I was the dumb one. Oh my god. Now, to contextualize, I have not watched these movies in a very long time. I saw the original AVP uh, when it was released in theaters. And then I watched it a couple of times when it hit DVD. I bought the DVD, I watched that a couple of times. Probably haven't watched that movie in... Like, 12 years. Been a long-ass time. Uh, AVPR, or Aliens vs. Predator Requiem, uh, I saw that in theaters, uh, and I haven't seen it since. And that movie was probably like 9 years ago now. Oh god, maybe more? Like 10? Was it like 10 years ago? Oh fuck, it might have been 10. Might have been a whole de goddamn decade. Anyhow... I saw that one when it hit theaters, and when I saw both of those movies, uh, I remember liking them just fine. I thought AVP was a perfectly serviceable action movie that had some cool, interesting lore going on. Uh, didn't know why people hated it. Uh, AVPR, uh, I, I remember it being a big, dumb, like, uh, gory slasher flick with aliens and predators, and I remember thinking it was super dope. Oh, oh man, I was wrong. I was, I was really wrong. I don't, I don't even like have like an excuse for myself. I don't know, like I didn't even do drugs. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Um, okay. So to go ahead and say like, okay, AVP really isn't that bad. Uh, like, like. AVP is more boring than anything. Like, a lot of people will blame it on, oh, it's PG-13, that's where they fucked up, it's, you know, the human characters are, f or, like, ruined the movie, and, like, like there shouldn't have been, I've heard people say there shouldn't even be humans in this movie. And it should have just been aliens and the predators, that's what people want to fucking see. That's dumb. Nobody's gonna fucking see a movie where it's just the aliens and the predators and there's no spoken fucking dialogue. Nobody's gonna see that goddamn movie. People will say that's what they want. And then when that movie came, if that movie ever got made, people would say it's garbage and fucking hate it. And yeah, no, because people don't know what the fuck they actually want. You need human characters. You need you need an eye level introduction to the world of the Xenomorphs and the Predators. You need that. Uh, the problem is, is that the beginning of this movie is kind of structured like Jurassic Park. Where they're kind of collecting all the scientists or the the specialists for this team that they're putting together, and it just it's so long and protracted, and it just goes on and on, and there's no sense of pacing, there's no real sense of structure. Um, it doesn't really do a good job of introducing these characters, uh, even though that they have some fairly lengthy scenes with them. It's, like, and none of them are given, like, any kind of, like, kind of fun personality. It's like, you know, you have, like, Dr. Grant, who is just kind of this snarky asshole. 
guy. Like, you know, he's just kind of like very just disinterested, kind of a grumpy old man archetype. And then you had uh, Ellie Sattler, and she was much nicer, a bit more motherly. And then you had like Ian Malcolm, who was a bit more eccentric and weird. And you had like like the shitty lawyer who is uh, like, oh yeah, no, I like. And then you had like John Hammond, who was like a really nice guy. You had like the kids, and the kids had their own unique part. Everyone had personalities in Jurassic Park, and it's really weird that this movie chooses to basically lift that structure of, yeah, we're gonna like get a team together of specialists. And then we're like gonna like go to this place, and then uh oh shit went awry, and now everyone's dying. Like like it took that structure, um, but then like didn't take the interesting characters. Like every character just feels completely interchangeable. Like even the main girl, I couldn't really tell you what her personality is. She's not like adventurous. She's not quirky. She's not. She's just kind of there. Like, and that's, that's kind of everyone in this movie. Like, no one's... There isn't, like, the funny one or the dumb one. Like, there's, like... Like, uh... Like, there's, like... I think, like, the Scottish guy is, like, a bit, like, neurotic. And that's about it. And he has, like, a family. Okay. One character with personality. And he's not even, like, a major character. He dies around halfway point. So, yeah. That's kind of the big problem with this movie. Isn't that, like, there's humans in it. It's that the humans are boring and we spend so much time with the humans that whenever like the xenomorphs and they like once the xenomorphs and the predators start fucking duking it out like they they actually become part of the storyline that's when the movie starts getting dope that's when the cool start starts stuff, stuff starts happening and the action sequences and you see like like the like predators dropping and xenomorphs dropping and it's just it's cool uh one of the things i liked uh really er, uh early on into that conflict is one of the xenomorphs like gets pinned with uh, this net that like tightens and like constricts and cuts whatever the fuck is inside of it, and we see this earlier in the film demonstrated on one of the the characters in the movie, uh, nameless uh, fucking human character with no personality uh, number four, uh, like he gets caught up in the net and dies, and then. Uh, Later on, we see a xenomorph get caught in that. So when it constricts on them and it, like, cuts the xenomorph, it's acid blood, like, melts the net and it gets out. So now you have a xenomorph with, like, these fucking cool green glowy, uh... Or not glowy, but, like, because the, the predators are the ones with the glowy blood. But, like, the xenomorph with, like, these green cuts across uh, its its shell. And so now you have a, a, have a xenomorph with, like, a distinguishing characteristic that stands out from the pack. And he's kind of like the main xenomorph, uh, other than the queen, who becomes, like, the final boss. And, uh, like, I, I think there's a lot of good stuff from that point on. Like, once the, the plot starts going, uh, you know, you have a lot of people hate how uh, the, the predator and, like, the human girl form kind of a bond. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's perfectly a character for the predators. No, like, it's like she killed a xenomorph, he's a warrior, he respects her for having done this, you know, and they and they, they, they form, like, 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 a warrior's bond. And he, like, you know, makes her, like, a shield and, like, a spear, and it's like a bonding moment, and I, I think that's cool. I mean, like, seeing, like, a predator actually show respect for a human being, for a human being doing something really badass, because it's not like, like the predators haven't shown respect for people before. You know, Predator 2, uh... Danny Glover fucking murders the Predator and that, and then, like, five other Predators show up, and they're like, here, here's, like, a trophy. Good job on killing one of our guys. All right, get the fuck out. You know? Like, they just, they they, they, they give a sign of respect, and they split. And that's kind of how I feel like this is treated. It's like, you know, like, he has earned her, or she has earned his respect, and now they are a team. Uh, I think it's a great idea. I think it, it works really well within the context of the film, which works great within the context of the Predator universe. Uh, I, I love like the lore that they build, like you know, like the like the earliest civilizations of man were were uh, all influenced by the Predators coming here and like building these these temples as training grounds and like it's a great fucking idea. And honestly, I think it's a far more interesting uh, use of the Xenomorphs in human history than fucking Prometheus ever gave us. Oh my god, I really hate Prometheus. Like, n- not as much as I hate Alien Covenant, but 
really hate Prometheus. <sighs> but yeah, uh, Alien vs. Predator, though, like, it works. And, like, it's slow as shit in the beginning. It's boring as fuck in the beginning. But once it starts moving around the, 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 the midpoint of the film... Like, like I was saying, like the beginning of Act 2 of the film, from Act 2 and Act 3, Act 1 is boring as shit, Act 2 is fun, Act two, or Act 3 is fun, uh, you had the big fucking boss battle, and then the sequel tease where, like, a pred-alien burst out of the thing's chest, and it's cool. Uh, like, you could tell, like, the per- like the people making this movie gave a shit, like, there was a lot of attention to detail, like, like they were just doing the, f- like, they were doing this thing as hard as they could. Like, you know, they, they didn't have the means to write good characters. They didn't have the talent to write good characters. But they knew how to, like, build a set and do some lore and just do that as hard as they could. And just make it cool and make it fun. And, yeah, like, Alien vs. Predator is a fun movie once you get past, like, the first 20, 30 minutes of it. Like, the first 30 minutes of the movie is fucking boring. But once you get past that, it's a good time. I, man, I, I cannot say the same for Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. Also, can I just say, like, the name Aliens vs. Predator Requiem annoys the shit out of me? Because the first movie is called Alien vs. Predator. And then the second one is Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. <sighs> Now, I'm assuming that's because, like, you know, oh, it's one Predator versus multiple aliens, but the first movie was multiple Predators versus multiple aliens, and that one wasn't called, like, Aliens versus Predators. So why is this one Aliens versus Predator? Is it because the second Alien film is called Aliens? Like, if we, if we had, like, you know, gotten another one of these, would they have just you know, gone back to just alien versus, but then predators because the third predator, I don't know. It's dumb. Uh, I, I, I hate it. I hate, I hate the name. Uh, I never even noticed that the name did that until, uh, I actually bought this collection and I was looking at it and I was like, aliens versus predator. They called it alien. Like, like I fucking remember seeing this at theaters and never once questioning that. And, <sighs> Honestly, it's not like, you know, I mean, that is the least of this fucking movie's problems, is a stupid title. So, Requiem is uh, an absolute fucking dumpster fire. I remember going into this movie, like, the one time I had watched it, it was Christmas night. Uh, me and my friends got together. We're going to go watch a movie. We're going to go watch AVPR. And, ooh, ooh, hoo, 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 ooh. Like, I remember us having a good time. Like, we all came out of that movie like, Yeah, that was fun. That was that was, that was a good, stupid, schlocky gore fest. And I, like, Agro was with me when we watched the... Like, because Agro was with me originally when we saw it in theaters. And he had the same experience I did. Which was, yeah, that was a fun, dumb, gory slasher flick with aliens and the Predator. Yeah. And, um, here... Like, yeah, when we rewatched it, it's just like, oh my god, this is so boring. Why won't anything fucking happen? Because, like, like there's no excuse for this movie to be as boring. Because, like, the first movie had to have a shit ton of setup. The setup for this movie is the ship from the end of the first movie crashes on Earth after the Pred Alien murders all the Predators. And, like, there is some fucking face huggers in there. And then the face huggers latch onto some people. And chest bursters. And now there's xenomorphs. And then, like, a rogue predator is just like, oh, fuck, there are xenomorphs down there. And then he comes down to Earth. And then from that point on, it's just a fucking slasher flick. It's just, you know, there are humans. And they're being murdered to shit by uh, the, the, the xenomorphs. And the predator is there trying to murder the xenomorphs. And sometimes also... Murdering the humans. If they're armed. Like, I, I don't know how you fuck this up. I mean, I know exactly how they fucked this up. They fucked it up by... Okay, so... So the people who who were making this movie, they clearly were like, okay, we're gonna do Alien vs. Predator, but instead of having, like, like you know, this whole plot and lore and shit, we're just... We're gonna do 
a big, dumb, schlocky, ultra-violent slasher flick. That's what we're going to do. And that's what they go for. But, like, like clearly like, the people who did this had to, like, watch some slasher films and understood, like, okay, so we need, like, the disposable cannon fodder characters that are going to die in this movie. And, uh, like, like, so it has those, but, like, like, it gives, like, all of them, like, like some type of storyline within the movie. Storylines that don't fucking matter because a lot of these characters are going to die, and none of these plot threads are really going to, uh, resolve or go anywhere. So you have... Uh, I guess you would call him the main character. He's the underdog character. Like, your fucking generic 80s movie protagonist. Uh, like, the underdog character, you know, uh, who, like, likes the hot girl, but the hot girl has a douchey boyfriend. And, like, he's a real asshole bully. So, like, you know, he... Like, underdog goes and, like, delivers pizza... The hot girl, but then douchey boyfriend's like, hey, you're talking to my girl, and then, like, takes his keys and, like, throws them down like a sewer grate, and then there's, like, a side plot going on where Underdog has an older brother who just got out of jail, and I don't know why that needed to be, a like, a thing, like, why we needed to know he just got out of jail. Uh, I guess so you could have, like, his cop buddy who was there, and then there's, like, a woman who's, like, just got back from the military, and she's, like, reuniting with her family. Um, I don't know why we needed her to be, like, re like m returning military, because that doesn't really factor in. Um, I don't remember if she had, like, any action sequences. And it's not like she had, yeah, no, like, like all the action is really just stuff between the Predator and the Alien. So, so you got that going on. Uh, like, all these characters with all these fucking plot threads. Um, like, also, oh, like, when the spaceship first crash lands, it, like, the face hugger latches onto, like, this hunter and, uh, his son. So, like, a kid dies. Right out of the gate. So, that was one of the things I remembered about this movie, and I was just like, yeah, awesome, they fucking killed that kid. Um, because movies just usually don't have the balls to kill kids. And this one is just fucking kid, face hugger, chest burster, kid fucking dead. Um, uh, like, cause this movie's like, yeah, this movie's not pulling any fucking punches. And... Uh, then we have, like, the plot of, like, you know, the wife, uh, of, like, the hunter being like, my, my husband and son went out into the woods and disappeared and I don't know what happened. And, like, she's, like, all distraught over that. But, like, that doesn't really go anywhere because, like, you know, just, like, she, she's looking for her family. But she's just gonna die. She dies. Like, and, and, like, she's not even, like, she's murdered in any kind of, like, poignant way. It's just, like, at the end of the movie, like, the military comes in and just nukes the entire fucking city. Uh, okay. Um, so, yeah, like, a lot of these character plot threads just don't matter at all. Like, a lot of this movie is just taken up with these fucking characters. Uh, like, Underdog ends up going to a pool with Hot Girl because Hot Girl just broke up with Douchey Boyfriend. And then she's just like now wants to like jump on underdog's dick for reasons. I don't I don't know. But then like douchey boyfriend shows or douchey ex boyfriend shows up. It's like, hey, we do it with my girl. And then like him and like his buddies get into a fight with underdog and they fall into a pool. And then the whole scene exists, I guess, just so like a xenomorph could like get into the water and like murder like one of the guys. And like that's about it. And they're like, oh my god, and then they're running away. Oh my god. Mm. This movie's bad. Like, it's such a jumbled fucking mess. Like, it understands, like, what... Actually, no, it doesn't understand. Like, it knows what the beats are of, like, a schlocky slasher film. But doesn't understand, like, how to actually make one. It understands, like, you're supposed to have these things in it. But it doesn't understand, like, why you're supposed to have, like these character archetypes and these plot beats and how to actually execute them. It just knows that, like, yeah, these are the things that are in these movies and just shoves them in. Like, how do you fuck up a slasher film? I mean, I guess we've been fucking up slasher films for a while now, but, like, I've never seen it so incompetently done. And, 
to think like you did it with Alien vs. Predator. Like, you fucked up Alien vs. Predator while making a slasher film with it. It's like, that should have been the easiest thing on the fucking planet to get right, and you fucked it up. Like, like, I, oh, oh, man. How did I ever think this was acceptable as a movie? Like, what, what, were my taste that bad? Like, like, was my taste in movies that fucking bad back then? Like, like, there's no fucking way. Like, like, I know, like, around that same age, like, I saw Transformers. And I thought Transformers was fucking terrible. Like, I knew that was terrible the first time I watched it. How the fuck did I watch Requiem and think this was even acceptable as a movie? And, like, a lot of, like, like the, like the action, like, fights and shit. It's like, the movie's so fucking dark, you can't even see a lot of it. It was giving me flashbacks to goddamn Ninja Assassin. Like, it's just... Like, everything about this movie is so fucking... Like, you know, the it's it's too dark to see the gore and the violence, so you can't really uh, enjoy that kind of visceral aspect of it. The, the gore is so spread out that you can't even get like a good train of that going the characters are not just one dimensional like like they're like they're like caricatures of one dimensional stock archetypes like not even like the stock archetype it is a caricature of that stock uh, stock archetype i've just never seen a film fail so spectacularly at something so Fucking basic. God, like... Like, I was 24 when I saw this goddamn movie the first time. Like... Like, there's... There was no excuse for me to ever... Th like... Like, fuck... Fuck 24-year-old me. Like, he was a goddamn moron. He did not know what the fuck he was thinking. Like, what the fuck could it... Like, like I now have to, like, go back... And rewatch everything I've I've seen like more than ten years ago because I can't trust my fucking opinions from back then. I was a fucking moron. Like like, like am I gonna like go back to Escaflone and find out that my favorite anime is fucking garbage? Is that what's gonna happen? Like like what other movies that I think were like good or acceptable that are might be fucking just dumpster fire trash? Oh my god. Oh god, I didn't even finish talking about this movie. Whatever. People die. The fucking hot girl gets split in two by like a giant predator blade. That's pretty dope. Um, but it also at the same time, it's just like, why the hell do we spend so much time with this fucking romantic subplot when they... And like, the people who live and die feels just completely arbitrarily selected. Because it's like, underdog, his brother, military chick, and her daughter, and that's it. Everyone else fucking dies. They're either killed by a xenomorph, killed by a predator, or killed in the nuclear explosion that just wipes out the whole goddamn city. <sighs> Thank God we didn't get more of these. Like, oh, man. Like, like, a lot of people shit on versus movies a lot, I see, and I'm like, like, and I and I feel like people just go into those with like bad expectations. Like I people see I see people shit on Freddy vs Jason. I love Freddy vs Jason. I think Freddy vs Jason is a great fucking movie. It's a dumb fucking movie, but it's a great fucking movie, and it does exactly what it's supposed to, brilliantly. Uh, like you know, it's full of you know cliched archetypes, but they're all a lot of fun and they play off of each other really well. So the characters are really entertaining. Um, like their death scenes are really creative, and it's really entertaining. And that movie has everything that Alien vs Predator Requiem is completely devoid of. I just, I I don't know. How you fuck that up so bad. Like, I think whenever I saw Alien Covenant, uh, I made, like, some sort of declaration about how this is the worst thing to ever have the alien uh, name attached to it. This is the worst fucking movie. Uh, 
in in this franchise. It's the worst thing that ever had an alien name attached to it. And I think I even I think I very specifically called out like the AVP films and go, yeah, no, those movies are not worse than Alien Covenant. I owe Alien Covenant a, a, a bit of an apology. Aliens vs. Predator Requiem is the worst thing to have the alien or predator name attached to it. It is unrepentant garbage. There is no excuse for how fucking bad it is. And I like every person involved in like from the script writers to the director, anyone who had any type of authority or uh, decision making like in this film needs to not have a career. This film is absolute dog shit. Alien vs. Predator, it's fine. It's it's serviceable. It is it is acceptable for what it was trying to be. It could have been much better. Uh, but it wasn't abysmal. The first act is boring. The the second and like the last two thirds is fairly entertaining. And got some good ideas in it. Uh, Alien vs. Aliens vs. Predator Requiem is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Uh, it's... I'm not going to say it's worse than Batman v Superman, so it's not the worst versus movie I've ever seen. Because Batman v Superman just offended me on a personal level. Uh, Aliens vs. Predator Requiem baffled me with how fucking incompetent it was. Like, what it was trying to be... Like, 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 it set the bar so fucking low. Slasher film with aliens and predators. And it fucked that up. Like, how? <sighs> like, 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 that is a bar set so low that Herbie's Conrad couldn't get fucking underneath it. Mm. And they failed. Abysmally. <sighs> fuck this movie. Especially fuck 24 year old me. He was dumb. Thank God I didn't fucking do reviews back then. Because none of those opinions would have been worth a goddamn thing. Not that I really think my opinions are worth anything now. But still. They would have been hella not worth a goddamn thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> How many times could I just say this is fucking bad and garbage and terrible and I hated it and it was... Oh my god. Uh. So yeah, Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. I recommend everyone go see it. Because I'm a horrible human being and I want the rest of the world to suffer as much as I have. <sighs>